I'm just going to wave this around with it at you. Oh, let's start again. I'm just going to wave this around at you while I've got it in my hand before it gets cash stuffed. £490 being cash stuffed now. Hello, this is Esther. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. This is My Money Matters. I've got uh, some money to stuff in my long-term and short-term sinking funds. Let the money do the talking. <laughs> So this might seem a big wodge this month for 90. There is a little bit extra going into my long term and short term sinking funds. I did get a bonus um, at work. So some of that money is going to go back into that. But also 220 of this goes into my weekly binder anyway. So I will split up the cash and I will then maybe get back to you. So 220. Oh, do you want to count it all or do we count it in bits? Um, let's, I don't know, let's just go for it and see where we go. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, and 5, 10, 15, 20. It was all going so well, she thinks. So 220 is the amount that goes into my weekly, can't look, I can't pick it up. That's my weekly envelope cash stuff. 220. Stick my post-it note on. 150 is going to go into short term. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. That was a bit better. So a little bit better. So that's going to go into short term. Let's separate that. And then hopefully we've got 120 left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20. For long term, hooray. So as you can see, the cash point decided to give out lots of tenors. Let's start with the nice simple one and let's just restuff the weekly binders. So I split these into five weeks if there is a five week month. I've not taken out my week four yet. Um, so I'll leave that in there rather than restuffing it because I need to do another video of my weekly cash stuffing. So we'll split this into £55. This just carries me over for the month of my purse, basically. Week one. Week two. And week three. So that was the easy bit. <laughs> So next we're going to do short term sinking funds. So this is stuff that I'm more likely to dip into um, when I need it more. So Bargain Booty Buys is actually going to get 20 because, um, why because, because <laughs> um, we're coming up to that season of the year where there are more Christmas craft fairs and local fairs and that type of thing on so I'm going to make sure I've got plenty in here and enough to roll me over for next year and like I said because of the the bonus I'm just going to pop a bit more in here so this now has 10 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 75 nice nice and I will fill the trackers offline save you that job so boys birthdays so this I've completed one set here so I've got 100 here for one birthday but we're going to now go towards the next birthday and once that's fully funded then I'm going to stop stuffing that for the time being. <laughs> this is going to get its usual 20. Head to say gone tomorrow doesn't need anything so that's just going to stick at the 20. Have a happy holiday is going to get 50 but we put it in the other binder. So because we've got the um, Christmas holidays coming up, I thought I would cash inject this a bit. So that was left over from half term. I wanted some rollover money in here, so that's why I left a tenner in there. And then in here we've got 60 at the moment. 
at the moment. Ah, oh, there's all the fibres. <laughs> I've been looking for some of these. So I'm just going to change some of these out. In fact, let's change all of them out so they're in my... Um, in the flow, as it were. So let me just change those out a minute. And then, what did I say? 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I was just kind of mindful that actually we are kind of coming around to um, the Christmas holidays and um, I'm not going to have much time to save for this so I might as well put some more in now. So it's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Nice, that's good. I'm hoping it won't be too spendy, I'm hoping, you know, lots of days indoors. <laughs> but, you know, it's nice to have it there if just in case or if you, you know, you want to go out as a family then I can treat the family to something. Um, I have restocked the school holiday binders. I think there might only be one left. Um, I listed three but I've sold a couple so um, get your hands off that one and I might have to make some more of those. Saving for secondary school so we, we've saved this once hence the little purple mark at the top and this is going to get a tenner. So I'm going to pop a tenner in here. So saving for secondary has got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Nice, just going to keep letting this one add up a bit. So these are, uh, represent two each. Now I wonder if I could do these stars. There we go, not too bad. Two, four, six, eight, ten in there. And give that one a wafty wafty. Dry off the... Uh... Now, interestingly, so the canny tally was saying that noise is from it knocking on the rings, not you wafting the actual challenge around. Isn't that interesting? Fun fact of the day for you. <laughs> so that's saving for secondary. Um, what's next? Now, Smile for the de Dentist Stroke Opticians <laughs> is going to get 10. So this now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And this one's just going to keep keep going, I think, for the time being as well. I should really print off another tracker, but I've just not done it. So, Take Care Tender, I had to wipe this off because I was owing too much, so I decided to wipe it down and refill it. And I've done half a heart to represent the five pounds. Sorry, because I'm filming in the evening, getting all those reflections. So, um, this is going to get 35. 10, 20, 35. But I'm going to just swap out these fibres. Okay. 10, 20, 35, yeah. I don't know what that one's doing there. Right, cool. So hopefully this will mean that would be that five there. 10, 20, and 30. But that's now 35. I just, I felt like I kept dipping into this and I wanted to bulk it back up again. So um, this now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Just try that one off. Wafty waft. And then hamster is going to get five. We finally we finally got past this bit. Finally. We've always just, you know, kept coming up here and spending and then going back again. So we'll possibly have a look in the new year for a furry friend. We'll see. See what happens and this is going to get five so this now has 20 30 35 40 okay good that's all my short-term stuff and now let's have a look at the long-term savings so funding for the future is going to get its usual 20 Annoyingly, look, I don't have a £20 note, so I'm just going to put in two tens. 
Come on, just swap that out, it's going to bugger me. So I'm going to start my tracker next year from Cashbook Cute. This one, Emergency, is going to get to 20. So I'm thinking pink, nail, put a bit of nail varnish on there. It's my kind of girl, she likes different multicoloured nail varnishes. I'm going so uh, what am I doing? 5, 10... <laughs> 15, let's do blue, 20, so if I finish this early, which I probably am going to, um, I'm just going to leave it until next year before I start the new challenge, so give that one a walk. Isn't it crazy that we're at the end of the year? It's, um, it's, it's sort of really bringing it to light, knowing that this is no the November stuffing. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, I didn't put any money in this, did I? 20 is going into here. Oh, look, we've got some £20 notes. I've got to swap that out in a minute. Um, let's do that now. Who <laughs> else? I'm just going to confuse myself. Swap those out. Where's the tenders I had? There they are. So this one is just like long-term saving habit, basically, this one here. This is emergency fund. And then next year I'll be starting the catastrophe cash. So this now has... Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so that's a hundred. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty... 60, 65, 165 in emergency. And then month ahead money. Now I'm going to cash and check this with £40 because it means I can boost this along nicely. 10, 20, 30. Four, oh, that's not 40. 40, lovely. So this is to go into my five week ahead folder and it means that one month I don't have to feed into it because I've been drip feeding it here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Fabulous. So it's just nice to have one month off from um, getting money out for the, the weekly uh, stuffings. So these are worth five each, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Nice! We nearly finished one side, hooray! That's exciting. Right, I kept this one because it was a bodge job. So, uh, oh, got to woof the wrong side then. Who else have we got behind here? Sofa savings! Whoa, this is going to get 40. Oh, hello. Feeling generous, are we? <laughs> so, is this what I'm left with? 10, 20, 30, 40. I love it when it adds up. I always get a bit worried that I've got like money left over or something like that. So, sofa savings is coming on nicely. Let's have a look. Orange. Oh, can we colour it? No, 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Don't get ahead of yourself, Esther. So... Pixie's falling over now. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, let's count the money. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 190. Brilliant. There we go, just like that. <laughs> it's a, I'm always amazed how quickly the money disappears. But it's all going into good causes <laughs> and savings. So um, it's great because it is about the long game, not about the short game. So stick at it. I know it might feel tedious. It might feel as if you're only stuffing a little bit at a time. But honestly, when you reach those goals, they do add up. So please, from me to you, keep going. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Oh, before I go, I'm going to show you some happy mail. So I won a competition from Manxy Cat Budgets. So the lovely Sarah at Manxy Cat Budgets sent me a goodie box. 
And when I say goodie box, it was a really goodie goodie box. Now obviously I've opened it, she seals it with this pink paper and this cute uh, cat sticker at the front. Then inside, and she wrote me a note saying, I hope you enjoy your giveaway goodies. And so for the giveaway, look at this, chocolate money, actual chocolate money. <laughs> I love the fact it's got a mixture of um, notes in it as well. Such a, you know, budgeter's friend here. Chocolate money, love that. And then the treasure box, which I'll talk about in a second. But look at this. She wrapped up. Um, I knew I was getting um, her challenge, but she's included an extra new challenge as well. So look at this. The paw print on the front with the wax seal. And this amazing vellum paper. The paw prints and her Yarmi treasury, which she uses to save up for her children, and each treasure box is worth two pounds. Isn't that cute? And I must say, the quality is amazing. Very thick, very thick indeed. So how cute is this? It matches my little treasure box, and you can save your money in here. So um, it's got paw prints going from the treasure boxes. And it says 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20 pounds when you save up your two pounds. Isn't that cool? So can't wait to get started with that one. I might have to do it after I finish my um, two pound coin challenge or maybe find another way to use this. But thank you. I think I'll save this for the new year. That's amazing. And then she's also kindly gifted me a new challenge. It's a scratch off challenge called I am the gift. And then it says here, 90 saved. So it's really interesting doing somebody else's scratch off <laughs> because I've usually only done my own. Um, and although I don't know what's underneath them, it's quite exciting. So I'm going to try and, um, again, see if I can get this fitted into my budget. And then a handy budgeting page here uh, saying what envelope it is, cash staffed, the date description, etc., etc. And look at the back, it's got the paw prints on the back as well. So as well as that amazingness and this, there was actual treasure inside this box. So the lovely Sarah messaged me and said, what's your favourite colour combinations, what do you like? And I said to her, different colour combinations. And um, she's made me this amazing charm, personalised charm with my name on it. And I love the fact it's got little stars, hearts. It's got a colour combination I suggested of the little the teal and the the yellow, which is the colour of my craft room. It's where I do my filming. And um, it's just beautiful. And um, I can understand that this must have taken her absolutely ages to make because she's had to bead all those on and then attach them. I just, this is absolutely, absolutely stunning. And I will definitely treasure this. And I'm so thankful to Sarah for this because it's so special. Your your challenges are beautiful. The All this is so lovely, but this is even more like special. So thank you so much. Please go and check out uh, Manxy Cat to Budgets. That's the lovely Sarah and Manxy Cat Budgets. She's new to budgeting uh, world with her channel so go and show her some support some support let's get those subscribers up for her and show her some love um i'm just blown away by her generosity and kindness so thank you so much sarah and i'm going to put this on my mini binder me thinks so i've got it attached it to a key ring and then i'm going to have it for my coin binder like that Beautiful, look at that. That's so cool. I love it. Thank you. Right, on the happy note, peoples, lovely to see you. I'll hopefully catch you on my next uh, video because I've got my weekly cash stuff to do. I hope you're keeping well. Take care, God bless you, and I'll catch you next time on My Money Matters. Bye for now. Well, I've got £181 in my Hyperjar wallet, so when you're transferring money into your hyper jar it will automatically go into the wallet jar and then you can take it from the wallet and separate it into the various jars or leave it in your wallet if you want to spend it from there so i'm going to stuff it for this month chiropractor is going to get 30 so that i've got money there for when i need it again 
and it automatically is going to come out from the wallet and you just confirm that and it will go in there. That's done and then you just go back to the main uh, spread of child, of child, excuse the pun. Okay, uh, the next one that's getting stuffed is a family, friends, uh, food and film and this is going to get 20. So this now has £43.90. That's an annoying figure, <laughs> but it's because I spent out of it today. Okay, gifts is going to get to 20. I like to just keep this one topped up. Uh, next year I'm going to change the way I do gifts. It will come uh, more out of cash and then it will kind of go back to bank. But for now, we are carrying on using the gifts jar. Okay, um, miscellaneous come back to that tends to be rounding off the last three not the last three digits rounding off the pennies in the jars nhs prescription um i normally transfer this money when they take it out but i don't think it's come out of my account yet so i'm just going to add that into there i think there might be a month that they don't take it out for some reason not sure anyway money's in there if i need it <laughs> Pennies for my pocket is very low, and this is going to get stuffed with £50. And then postage, I keep using it as postage. Now postage, I'm going to put in 20 because I'm foreseeing maybe needing to send some Christmas cards and... Um, we send out a newsletter with our Christmas cards, a family newsletter, so I don't know whether it shouldn't cost more. Hopefully I'll try and keep the cost down on that, but that's for postage. And then school holidays. I'm just keeping this round up. It's not, I suppose it's technically the main holiday rather than school holiday, but I'm just keeping this one topped up. I need to review my holidays because I've got, I feel like I've got money spread different pots but this will help for maybe some holidays I mean that this is kind of more for that so come out of there back into the main one as you can see the wallet is now empty and I'm going to write round round down I'm going to round it down um, my pots so that they end in zero so I just work my way through the pots so the first one is birthday so 0.8 is eight zero so just running off that birthday money so that birthday money is still sitting there um still got some ideas of what i want to spend it on but yeah not made any decisions and i'm not in any hurry to spend it it's quite nice to have a little bit of money there knowing that if i oh no i don't want 87 pounds in there knowing that if i want to spend it then i can so just rounding down the christmas jar this gets dipped into occasionally this time of year you know so um that's looking good and then family friends hmm. do i round up the 390 i'm gonna leave that three pound in there and just round up the 90p just in case i can't think of anything i might need it for but you never know three pound might come in handy for something so look we're already at £10 in miscellaneous now and that's just rounding up those jars and taking out those those pennies um, so adding 30p from gifts pennies from my pocket 92p I mean I don't want 92p stuck in a jar do you? <laughs> I know it won't bother some people but it's great to have this miscellaneous buffer sometimes occasionally online you might need to spend out of it and think oh I don't have a jar for that to come out of but the miscellaneous jar comes in handy for that very purpose so everything's rounded down miscellaneous now has 12 pounds 27p which is really handy everything else is rounded down <laughs> one two three for my birthday chiropractor 30 christmas 344 four. family friends food fun film 43 gift 72 nhs prescription now has 22 Penny, so my pocket's got 52, postage 31, school holidays now has 200. And that's the jar emptied and dispersed into the other jars. Um, I know a few people have been asking about Hyperjar. Um, it's basically linked to your an existing bank account. That's how it works. So it's not a separate online bank like Chase or Monzo. 
Um, if I click on see all under transactions, I can see all your recent transactions. Now, if I decide, for example, to spend out of Christmas, you tap on the Christmas jar. Just under here where it says super link jar, it gives you these options. You can keep it linked if you know that you're going to keep on spending out of the jar or just do it once if you want your next spend to come out of the jar. Once you spent out of there, it'll go just link it straight back to your wallet. Um, you can unlink it as well. You can link these to shops as well and get um, rewards for linking it to shops, but I don't bother doing that. You can have as many jars as you want. You can name them, you can number them if you want them in, in an order. And you can put these little pretty pictures on them. That type of jar stuffing for November 2023. Got 20... 20, yeah, that's right. 20, 40, 60, 80. Ooh, look at that. Got, oh, did I just rip that? Oh, bother. Oh, where did that go? I might swap that one out. Oh, no, it's there. I think people don't accept a broken lip. They're going to have to, aren't they? There's been worse. Come on. I'm going to swap that out now before I forget. Andy, slip here for... What do you call it? <coughs> um,